Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of January 1954, USS Nautilus, the world's first nuclear powered submarine, was launched. American physicist Ross Gunn of the United States Naval Research Laboratory first proposed the idea of a nuclear powered submarine in 1939, since the propulsion system could operate without air. He and his team secured funding to research uranium as a fuel source in March, and his work on thermal diffusion to obtain the uranium-235 isotope was later absorbed into the Manhattan Project that developed the world's first atomic bomb. After the war, Gunn continued to advocate for nuclear-powered submarines. In 1947, this call was taken up by Captain Hyman G. Rickover, who went on to become director of the Naval Reactors Branch in the Bureau of Ships. Here, he found an ally in Fleet Admiral Chester Nimitz, who recommended the development of a nuclear-powered submarine to the Secretary of the Navy, John L. Sullivan. In July 1951, the United States Congress authorised construction of USS Nautilus. Built in Connecticut by General Dynamics, the keel was laid down by President Harry S. Truman on the 14th of June 1952. Eighteen months later, on the 21st of January 1954, the world's first nuclear-powered submarine was launched by First Lady Mamie Eisenhower. Nevertheless, more construction work and testing was needed before Nautilus was ready to enter full service, and it wasn't until the following year that Commander Eugene P. Wilkinson made the historic announcement that she was underway on nuclear power. Nuclear propulsion enabled Nautilus to smash numerous records, including those for both submerged speed and distance, and became the first submarine to transit the North Pole in August 1958. She was eventually decommissioned on the 3rd of March 1980.